Let's go back. The Paleolithic caves, you know, 35, 40,000 years ago, our oldest uh, artistic endeavours. And there's been a lot of controversy about what these caves, what went on in these caves, where they have these paintings, particularly of animals, but other as well. And initially we thought they were there for hunting, but the animals they're supposed to be hunting aren't there. It, it wasn't to encourage hunting. But these we now discover are where the medicine men of the day, the shaman, I think really shay women, uh, uh, performed healing. Now you had a, very often there was like an, a, 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 an entrance cave where I think the most physically ill and those that didn't want more were helped in some way. But then the others went on this odyssey, sometimes a very long, dark, very unpleasant, almost frightening odyssey into the inner cave. And, and there they held by the light of a tallow, of a tallow candle. They see these paintings placed there by the shaman, by the shay women, to help them. And there, I think, obviously, there was music, whatever it was, and dance. And it may well be that theatre, as we know it, started there, and later became uh, established in the, in the Dionysian tradition in the Escribian temples. But I think it all started back there, all these caves, which were set up as healing, now, to, as I understand it, the original purpose of all the arts, as we now separate them and call them the arts, was, was for healing. A lullaby, which after all is a very, very important and very basic art, is purely altruistic. And so, and so, and so should be the paintings, the dance. It's all altruistic and it goes way, way back. Now something, back then, they, they, they say in ancient China and Japan, all the arts were seen as spiritual endeavours. What's happened, somehow or other, is, is the spirit's gone. And we now just have empty vessels. But the spirit is gone. You know, look, you, 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 you look at a reproduction of the Villendorf Venus, which is what, five, ten thousand years old. You say, with what love was that relic made, that image of, of the mother of all? And everyone who looked at it, everyone who held it, was closer to being healed, had the life energy raised as a result of it. That's what it was supposed to be.